From the version 2020 of ZBrush, it has introduced an additional level of control over how you can paint with the color. Previously, alphas, which are here, were only affected sculpting, but now they can control painting as well. Let's see how this makes for a powerful way to combine painting with sculpting in the same brush. So I will. Uh, I'm right now in my standard brush. Okay, and if I will start painting this up, it will start painting this color. Make sure your MRGB is on, and if you want the sculpting details, so your Z add is also on. So I, I have this MRGB and I have this Z add on as well. So if I will do it, will just give me a detail, but not any sort of a color. Okay, because the same skin color is selected over here so I have to choose another color and then I will get this option but at this stage I don't want this color I want a texture so I will undo this go to the texture option here and in the texture option I will take something furry either this or this maybe I will take this one and now as you can see the texture is there if I will start painting so you can see my sculpting detail is there as well and you can see my texture is there. So again make sure your MRGB is on otherwise you will not get your color or your material or your texture as well. Okay so yeah, keep your MRGB on if you want sculpting details like the one I have. So make sure your Z add is also on. Let me undo this one. So can I, I can change the way it is giving me a stroke here so what i will do here is that i will go to the stroke this time here and i can go and modify apply roll and see how it is done so now this is kind of making a good uh output because it's giving me a continuous uh style seamless style of that fur but it does not look like a fur so what I can do to make it look like a fur. So let me undo this. And now as from the version of ZBrush 2020, it allows us to paint with the alpha. Before we were not able to paint with the alpha. Alpha was only used for sculpting. But now we can or masking. But now we can take the alpha and we can choose whatever alpha we want. For example, what I will do over here is that I will choose an alpha that kind of look like it's a fur. So there are a lot of different kind of alphas over here. So let's see alpha uh, I think 60. It's kind of look uh, like what I'm looking for at this stage. So I will take my alpha 60 and now if I will paint. So you will notice that it will paint just like this. So it's giving me my Z intensity as well. Now if I have my Z intensity is off, so it will only paint something like this, which I actually, uh, it's fine, but I actually don't want it. I just want this to have the Z intensity also. But if you think the Z intensity is too high, maybe you can uh, reduce it to 15, for example. And if I will click here, so you can see that already as we are in roll, so it is giving me a nice output. What if I was not in roll? So if I will go in the stroke and start making without roll, so it will give me something like this, like a scratch, which does not look too good. So it's better to have your stroke and roll and stroke the roll on. If the roll is there, so you can see it is giving me a continuous seamless uh, stroke. But you know, it's doing a good job, but it's not giving me what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something like an effect which uh, makes it look like it's a fur. Okay, so now before uh, converting this into a more furry like uh, stroke, 
let me uh, show you one thing here. If you will look at here as the MRGB which I told you is on, next to MRGB there is A. A is paint with alpha. Now by default it was on in the newer versions. Before 2020 version, paint with alpha wasn't there. So we were not uh, able to paint with the alpha. But now as we have this, if you want to paint with alpha, make sure this is on. By default it is on so you don't have to worry about but in case this is not on you just have to click on it okay so that's what we are doing right now painting with alpha now if i will go to the stroke option let's make this stroke a little bit random so instead of uh, dots i will choose spray now this is sprayed so if i will now print you can see now i'm getting some furry like effect over here okay so this is quite good, but it's too, uh, the stroke is too, uh, you know, large for me. So I will make my brush size smaller. And now you can see I'm getting some good effect here. Okay. So maybe if you want to increase a bit and you will get this. And all the way, if I will draw this, I will get a very nice uh, furry effect on my dog over here. So as I'm going here, you can also turn on your symmetry okay so you can have also the symmetry mode on and if you don't want the symmetry just press x so you can turn off the symmetry so totally up to you and you can see the result is uh, uh, like you know very uh, nice result at, at least for this sort of uh, like tutorial so the takeaway message here is this new button which is A, which uh, combines your color and your sculpting in the same alpha. So, or if you turn it off, the color uh, will not be affected by the alpha, but the sculpting will be. So if I will turn it off and uh, start painting on this side, so you can see that there is no alpha on the paint, but there is alpha on the sculpt. So, but if you want this effect to be on the paint as well, so turn this on, keep this on. So now you can see that how it is working. So guys, if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will upload more new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give shout out to my channel on your social media account, which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more and more content for you all. So guys, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next. Lesson.